welcome to Vlogmas Day 10. So, I know you're probably like, Kayla, there has been no updates on Vlogmas since Vlogmas Day 5. You are correct. I was having a mental breakdown and needed to take a break. But I'm back and we're at Vlogmas Day 10. It is currently 7.13 at night. I have done nothing today but read. I am starving and I was like, let's do a cookie with Kayla because you guys liked the last one I did and I got nothing else to do. So that's what's about to happen. Um, while I do that though, I'm gonna insert clips that I have from Vlogmas Day 6 to Vlogmas Day 9. I didn't have enough footage to do full vlogs just because I've had so much stuff going on like family and work related and I did not want to put any vlogs out that I personally didn't think was good or that I thought was worth watching and I am such a strong believer and I say this time and time again and I say this to anybody who wants to go out there and make a YouTube channel do not put anything out that you yourself would not watch if you can't sit through your own videos there is no point in you putting that video out on the internet and that's kind of just how I feel about everything so that's what I was feeling about my like videos it wasn't anything that I thought I would ever watch so I was like I can't put this out there um but I'm back I'm back and I'm better okay and we're gonna continue on with vlogmas guys literally there's 15 days till Christmas which is mind-boggling I cannot believe there's 15 days till Christmas and I need to seriously get on Christmas shopping that is my plan for this weekend is to get some Christmas shopping done which I'm supposed to go out on Sunday to do it with my friends Heather and Lexi who you guys when we talk about all the time and I'm really excited to finally introduce them to the vlog I am gonna go ahead and insert all of the clips from vlogmas day 6 7 8 and 9 and I'm gonna do the dishes behind me and then I'll bring you guys back in on a tripod because my tripod's upstairs and I'm lazy and we'll continue on with the vlog. Also, guys, my sweater, I'm so obsessed with it. It's gonna come, I'm going to do like a thrifting haul for you guys in one of the vlogs because I have been killing the thrift store game, okay? But this is thrifted. It's from a site called Fashion Bug, um, which it's very like grandma sweater. Literally, there's like a little button that you can like button, I don't know, this, so that it sits like that. I don't have a button though because what's the point? But it is so long. I'm 5'3 and it literally goes like mid calf on me, but it's like the eyelet material. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's so comfortable. It's like wearing a blanket. I love it. I'm like, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I'm so obsessed with this. So yeah, if you wanted to know what my OOTV was, I'm literally wearing this eyeless star that I got from the thrift store. Um, this cropped like white tee from Forever 21, which I'm so obsessed with. I need to get more of. And <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. So leggings. Okay, I'm gonna go clean. I'm gonna insert the clips. I'm gonna see you guys when I start cooking. <laughs> oh my god, guys. Go to speech therapy. We have really it's bad really problems. Stop you in class. Of never being able to see me. I I don't even understand why I have to deal with this all the time. Hold on. Okay, so let's see how that works. Okay. Hello you guys. What is up? Welcome to Vlogmas Day 6, Day 7, Day 7. Wow. So currently I am in my car getting ready to leave. I literally have my flashlight on so you guys can see me. I just want to come on and start the vlog. I'll probably give a big update when I get home, but <laughs> welcome to Vlogmas Day 7. All right guys, so um, my mom called me on my way home and was like, hey, can you meet me at the second hand store? So, that's where we're at right now. Um, why am I meeting her here? I don't know. Hopefully I get Chinese food out of this. We shall see. Um, it is literally, I don't know if you guys can see that, it's 1019 right now at night. And I have just been chilling. It's Vlogmas Day 7 and I don't have any footage. Um, and I decided I wanted to sit down and talk to you guys and just have like, 
a ketchup chit chat girls talk i'm gonna eat my chinese food because i ordered chinese takeout um for dinner tonight and uh, i've just been chilling i was watching some youtube videos and um i feel like it's weird for me to like cover my mouth because like mukbangs are so popular now so like no one covers their mouth but the manners of me is like ooh cover your mouth <laughs> um but for those of you guys who are gonna ask this is what I mean I think a lot of main noodles literally so good like my favorite Chinese food meal is la mein noodles and steamed dumplings which is why we eat. But, um, I was watching the Ariana Grande video. And, okay. She received a Woman of the Year award. And when she was accepting it, she goes, um, this year has been the best year career wise for me, but the worst year for my life, like in my life. And it's a really weird, like, idea to think about it. And thinking about it, I was like, that literally sums up 2018 to me like if someone had to say like how would you describe 2018 i would say career wise i feel like i'm in a position with like the job that i work outside of youtube because for those of you guys who don't know youtube is not my full-time job but the job i currently am at right now i love so much i love like what i do and the people i work around and who I get to interact with and literally coming into work every day is just such a fun time um and in that sense I feel very secure and very happy and very accomplished because at age 21 like how many kids my age can say they work a job that they love that they're getting paid good at that they just enjoy being around and I think that's so revolutionary not saying that this job is like my dream job but for where I am in life, I am so comfortable with it. But at the same time, like life-wise, 2018 has been such a shit show. And I just, I don't know, 2018 has been crazy in the sense where like, I started dating. I <laughs> don't date and literally every date I've gone on has been like a horror story like I kid you not I have not gone on one good date and like I'm one of these vlogmas videos where I don't have any footage literally like tomorrow I'm gonna tell you guys all about my dating issues and like the people I've had issues with with dating um and just my dating stories because I oh my god it's absolutely ridiculous it, like every time i think about it, it reminds me of why i don't want to date um but even just like mental health wise i know something that i don't talk about on my channel ever and i don't think it's ever come up and really only like uh, if you follow me on twitter or you follow me on instagram possibly you've heard about it but like i just it's stuff that i don't talk about um but I do suffer really badly from anxiety and uh, like seasonal depression and stuff like that. And this year has been so wild in that sense where I have suffered so much from my anxiety and having anxiety attacks and just feeling anxious all the time, which sucks because it's like everything in life is going so great. And I have traveled. I have gotten to accomplish so many things i have gotten to do so many things but then at the same time there's so much stuff that i feel like i haven't been able to accomplish and so many things that i haven't been able to successfully achieve and 2018 is just such a weird year in that sense and i just i don't know i think like the fact that i hit a thousand subscribers on here is mind-boggling every time i go on my channel and i see that my youtube channel has 1k i'm like a thousand people want to watch my videos why <laughs> but then it also sucks on my end because i start overthinking the content that i post or i start 
overthinking like is this worth posting are people going to enjoy it is this something i'm going to enjoy and i am the type of person when i give my all to something i give my all to it i am like fully involved but at that same token i also am very hard on myself and that leads to me not posting as much as I want to because I'm overthinking my content or I'm overthinking the videos I want to post or I'm overthinking what I'm saying or is this worth posting or will people enjoy this and this video got this many views but this video only got this many views so what did I do wrong between those two videos and it's, it's a lot and because I hold myself to such a high standard it's just really difficult to it, it just isn't a lot not even just with like youtube but like in everything not even just in like social media but in life as a whole i hold myself to such a high standard and i don't know when to say i need help and i need a break and then i find myself just shutting down which this isn't like kayla's therapy session i don't want you guys to think that it is but that is just where i'm at right now okay chef what are we making today okay sous chef what are we making okay that's not what i wanted well we got peanut butter cookies on deck why are you cutting the cookie dough like that what day is it what day is it what day is it what is this vlogmas five no what day is it <laughs> December 9th? So it's Vlogmas Day. 9? There you go! Why is she cutting the things with Bro, her? Why, yeah, why? why are you cutting with the Yo, you know what? She snapped on these. I'm not going to judge her process. <laughs> she snapped on pre-made cookie dough. Yes. Yo, people be fucking these uh, cookie dough up. Yeah. Be all hard, all crispy. Nah, bro. This vlog is literally going to be tiled the best way to make cookies. <laughs> Alright, Aaliyah, tell me the process. Okay, she squeezes out like a pimple. And then what? Ew, Julius, why are you rubbing it like that? <laughs> oh my god. Aaliyah, you want to say anything? You ain't got nothing to say. The chef is done here. Interview's over. Cut it. <laughs> Cut. Move. Lock it up, I think it's time to lock it up, lock it up, ooh. All right guys, so it's a little bit later now. Um, I started cooking. I decided to do some like grilled Mediterranean-esque, I don't know, type of chicken. Um, I seasoned it with these seasonings. You ready? Okay, lemon pepper, boom. Italian seasoning, boom. Cajun seasoning, boom. Black pepper, boom. Seasoning salt, I don't actually think I put this in. But, yes, I have the chicken grilling, making some rice to go with it, and then I'm just gonna do a whole bunch of like sauteed vegetables. So honestly, I think I'm gonna do like some sauteed onions, and uh, tomatoes, and uh, um, like garlic, and peppers and I'm gonna drizzle some lemon juice on top of the chicken and I don't know we're just we're just gonna see how this goes but I want to update you guys real quick because I haven't updated you yet so hey ha how you doing what's good yes I'm gonna continue jamming out and finish cleaning because I don't know if I mentioned this in the last cooking with Kayla but I cannot cook in like a dirty kitchen it bothers my very being so I gotta make sure this kitchen is like tidy-esque at least like in the sink area so yes, I'm gonna finish doing that and I'll check up with you guys a little later.